let's dive into lesson 6.4. Now, if you took secondary math 2 honors and 3 honors, this lesson should look familiar. If you have never taken honors, then this lesson is going to be pretty new. Today, we're going to review a lot of the basic rules about matrices. So, to start that off, let's do some vocab. Let's talk about first what a matrix is. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. So basically, a rectangle, rectangle filled with numbers. That's what a matrix is. Now, every matrix has specific dimensions. And we always say how many rows, and then we do a little X, and then we say how many columns. So the way I usually remember this is I think of it as an L shape. So 2 by 3. That's how the dimensions of this matrix. It's a 2, 2 rows by 3, 3 columns. So 2 by 3. And every if you just do that weird little L shape, then you'll get that 2 by 3 shape every time. Or you'll get the right dimensions every time. So if we had something like this, we would say that this is a 2 by 2. 2 rows, 2 columns. So that's uh, the most we're going to do with our vocab today. So now we're going to start doing some operations with matrices. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, all that good stuff. Let's start you off easy. We'll start with matrix addition. Now, if we have two matrices, the first thing you need to know is that to be able to add them, they have to have the same dimensions. So we're going to list the dimensions here. We do our little L thing. This is going to be a 3 by 2. So it's a 3 by 2. And this is also a 3 by 2. So they have the exact same dimensions. That means I can add them. If this was a 3 by 2 and this was a 2 by 3, cannot add them. They have to have the exact same dimensions. So to do this, to add matrices, and here's the reason they have to have the exact same dimensions. We just add the, p the numbers in their corresponding spots. So this 2 and this negative 1 are in the same spot, so I'm going to add those together. So 2 plus negative 1. And I know I'm adding because of that. Plus. Then I have 3 plus 4, because those are in the same spot. Let's do this pink. Then I have 4 plus negative 5, because those are in the same spot. Negative 1 plus negative 3, because those are in the same spot. Then I have 0 plus 8. and negative 7 plus 1. Now, just so you know, you do not need to write this in between step. You are more than welcome to do all of this, this step in your head and go straight to this last matrix where we have 2 plus negative 1 is 2 minus 1, which is 1. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus a negative 5 is a negative 1. Negative 1 plus a negative 3 is a negative 4. <coughs> 0 plus 8 is 8, and negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. So you are welcome to just skip this middle step and go right to the end here. But that's how we add matrices. They have to be the same dimensions, and we just add the spots together. It is basically the exact same thing for subtraction, except now we're going to subtract the spots together instead of add them. So first thing, we check that they're the same dimensions. This is a 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. This one's also a 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. So they have the same dimensions. That means I can add them. And then we, or sorry, not add, subtract this time. We're subtracting right there. Um, now we just subtract the corresponding spots. So this negative 2 corresponds with that 8. And I'm subtracting them to negative 2 minus 8. Then I have this 3 corresponds with this negative 1. So I subtract them 3 minus a negative 1. 
this 0 goes with this 5, so I get 0 minus 5. Notice that I'm being really careful to do A first, then subtract B. A minus B, it would be a lot different if I did 5 minus 0. That would be a different answer. So you got to make sure to do the A minus the B. And the last one, I have the 1 and the 4, so 1 minus 4, which gives me negative 2 minus 8, negative 10. 3 minus a negative 1 is a positive 4. 0 minus 5 is a negative 5. And 1 minus 4 is a negative 3. And that's subtraction. The last one we're going to do in this video is called scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication is where you take one matrices, or one matrix, I should say, and you multiply that entire matrix by a number. So basically, 2A means take the A matrix and times everything in that A matrix by 2. So let's do example 3. We're going to do 2A minus 3B. So we have 2 times the A matrix, I'm just going to copy it down, minus 3 times the B matrix, so I got that. I'm going to do my scalar multiplication first, and then I'm going to subtract them, because we always do order of operations, multiply, then subtract. So I'm going to multiply everything in my A matrix by 2, this becomes negative 2, 0, 6, 4, negative 2, 8, just times everything by 2, minus, now I'm going to times everything in this matrix by 3, so 6, 3, negative 9, 12, 0, 3, and now I need to check that they're the same dimension so that I can subtract them. This is a 2 by 3, this is also a 2 by 3, so I can can subtract them. Oops. And once again, we just subtract the corresponding spots. So negative 2 minus 6, 0 minus 3, 6 minus negative 9, 4 minus 12. negative 2 minus 0, and 8 minus 3, which gives me a final answer of negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8, 0 minus 3 is negative 3, 6 minus a negative 9 is 6 plus 9, which would be 15. I believe. 6 plus 9 is 15. 4 minus 12 is also negative 8. Negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. And 8 minus 3 is 5. So, that is scalar multiplication. Doesn't matter the dimension, you just times everything in that matrix by that number. And then we combine that scalar multiplication with some subtraction to do them at the same time and get our final answer. So that is all for this first video. We did addition, subtraction, scalar multiplication. And the big rule is that for addition and subtraction, the dimensions need to be the same. In the next video, we'll go into matrix multiplication and talk about that.